Hey, James at Barber Creek Long Range Hunting and Shooting School. Today we're going to discuss how to properly zero your gun, especially for long range hunting. And what most people do is they go to Walmart, Target, wherever they go, and they buy like a little one inch orange dot, and they stick it on a white piece of paper. They shoot at it, hit it, and they say, hey, I'm good. Well, let me tell you, you're not good. If you're a quarter inch high or a quarter inch low at 100 yards, that will grow the further you get out. Um, for instance, what I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot 100 yards and I'm going to show you with a perfect zero, show you how I do it, and then I'm going to make it about a quarter inch off just out of a little bit of error, and then I'm going to make it a half inch off. And let's see what it does at longer ranges because, again, if you're a quarter inch off at 100 yards, you're 2.5 inches off at 1,000. If you're a half inch off at 100 yards, you're five inches off at 1,000. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna shoot this white piece of paper. That's how I zero. I take a white piece of paper, I shoot a bullet hole in it. That's my aim point. I then shoot until I hit that bullet hole. So first, I'm just gonna use two rounds each right at this point, but stand by. I'm gonna go ahead and shoot at 100 yards, show you how I zero. This is the first one, is how I zero. Bullet hole, and then aim at the bullet hole. Now this is a school gun, it's already been zeroed. Uh, this is our Terminus Zeus quick change on our school guns. And just for your edification, I always like telling the students this, uh, even, though, even though it looks like it's uh, in pretty good shape, this gun's probably got 18,000 rounds through it. The stock, the receiver, the scope, the barrels. I'm gonna take a quick photo in a second and show you the barrels are piled up over there underneath the bench that we basically get 4,000 rounds out of these really good benchmark triple stress relief barrels and then we toss them afterwards because they lose the accuracy that we're looking for but it takes like 4,000, 4,500 rounds. These Zeus actions are like butter now I'm telling you because we shoot so many rounds through them. Uh, they are diamond like coating but still that's a lot of rounds through again. Alright stand by. Uh, we're going to take this. We run on a Trichcon 10 mile uh, this is a 5x30. We're using the SIG Kilo 10K for all of our ballistics when we do shoot out further. Here we go. I'm going to shoot a bullet hole. Stand by. Then what I'm going to do is I am going to aim at that same bullet hole and see where I go. Making sure I'm on zero. Check your level. And as you can see, I hit the same bullet hole. Now what I'm going to do, instead of readjusting my zero, I'm going to mechanically bring it up a quarter minute. That will simulate a basically a quarter minute off at 100 yards. I'm going to shoot a bullet hole, and then I'm going to bring it up a quarter minute. Let me put it back like it's supposed to, and then show you what it would look like if you were a quarter inch high at 100 yards. There we go. I'm going to bring it up a quarter minute. This again will simulate an accidental quarter inch high, or your gun just doesn't shoot good. Let's say your gun shoots a quarter inch or a quarter minute. So here we go 100 yards, check zero. And as you can see, we're about a quarter inch high. Now I'm going to put it back to zero. We're going to shoot one more to the right. Okay. And then I'm going to bring it up. A half a minute and show you what a half a minute or a half inch error is going to look like at 100 yards. Should bring us up about a half inch. Okay. And exactly what it did. Now, here's the best part. Let me put this back to zero. I'm going to do the exact same thing at 600 yards. So stand by. Let me go ahead and range it. So I'm going to put the wind in first. And the wind is, can't see the wind through the binos. Okay, we're running left to right. Uh, we're basically sitting at about 50 degrees or a five mile an hour wind. And we got what's called medium wave. So we're sitting at about 3.4 mile an hour wind. So let me plug that in real quick. I'm gonna hold both buttons, get into the quick wind menu, fire it, it's already at three mile an hour. So I'm gonna leave it there. Go down the next save, and it is coming from 9 o'clock. So this is already set for a 3 mile an hour wind from 9 o'clock, just like we did in class, probably last class, so it hasn't changed. 
Um, notice I've been keeping these near the window. Why? Because I have a heater in here because it is winter and I want to make sure that the range finder or in this case the 10K is actually getting the temperature outside not in this room. Now at 600 yards it doesn't really matter but the further we get out it will. Okay it's telling me 12 and a half minutes up and it's telling me one and a half left wind so I'm going to dial exactly 12 and a half up bring up my bipod and we're going to shoot let me get a parallax first so I got a parallax it because I was at 100 yards all right I'm going to shoot at target number five I'm going to give it a minute and a half left wind Nice shot. Alright, now what I'm going to do is same thing, simulate that I had a quarter minute high. So I'll bring it up quarter minute. Let's look at the error. Level looks good. Okay, and that's about what it brought up, quarter minute. Now let's simulate that we had it a half a minute high. Okay, well, half inch at 100 yards. All right, stand by. Check level. So that was a really good demonstration at that point. I mean, it's literally perfect. Comes up about a quarter minute. Comes up another quarter minute at a six, at 600 yards. Imagine what this does at a, does at a thousand yards or 800 yards or 900 yards. So. Let's go ahead and move out to a thousand yards and show you what a correct zero looks like. All right, let me check when, make sure it hasn't changed. Okay, a little bit faster, uh, so I'm gonna give it about a quarter of a minute more than what this tells me. All right, clay pigeon under target five, a thousand and four yards. It says to go to 29 and a quarter minute. Okay. And it says wind is three minutes of wind. Okay, going to a thousand yards. Now, because I can see the wind's just a little bit faster than our original setup, so instead of three minutes, I'll go three and a quarter. All right, stand by. All right. Focus and parallax pretty much look the same. All right, here we go. Clay pigeon, thousand yards under target five, three and a quarter minutes. Okay. Yeah. I would say that worked. All right. Again, when you zero your gun, zero your gun. Don't take shortcuts. Don't shoot at those big dots. You know, you've heard it your whole life. Aim small, miss small. 100% true when zeroing your guns and shooting at long range. Uh, come visit us at barbercreek.com uh, or come physically visit us at our long range shooting school. Watch our YouTube channels. Check us out on Facebook. James at Barber Creek, thanks for joining us. Have a great day. Barber Creek's Long Range Hunting School provides you the skill set to ethically make shots well beyond 800 yards. With one of America's top long range instructors, a climate controlled classroom and shoot house, we're able to teach all year round. We offer luxurious sleeping accommodation and full course meals for our clients, making us America's premier long range hunting school. Contact us at 334 845 0000 or www.barbercreek.com.